I want to go to the soccer game. My kids are playing in the hallway here. You should come on down and challenge them to two on two. I had the chance to share with the Ottawa Glandorf FCA group this morning and talk with senior soccer and basketball standout Katie Hempfling for tonight's prep profile. The program itself in the last three years, unprecedented success, and she's been an uh, integral part of all of that. Uh, this year, I think she's trying to figure out what her role is, trying to you know be the leader instead of just you know a leader. Um, and I think that's part of the growing pains of just putting together a new new team on a new season. The first game, I only played like a quarter and a half because of my nose, but um, it was nice to see Bree step up and Aaron and Ashley, and I think we're gonna get more of that. We're gonna get spread scoring this year, maybe one or two in double figures, but it's gonna be a lot of spreading scoring. I went up for a reverse layup and a girl came down and uh, hit my nose, and so then uh, Friday night I had to go get an x-ray to see if it was broken or not, but now I have to wear the mask, so <laughs> it looks pretty bad. <laughs> she's been very comfortable in what she's had to do in the last couple of years, and she's never really had to carry a team on her shoulders the whole time. Um, she's obviously capable of doing that, um, but uh, you know, last year with having, uh, especially Katie and Lexi, taking a lot of pressure off of them, uh, off of her, uh, it, she was able to do what came natural to her. And I think uh, now, you know, we've got to kind of put her in unnatural positions and, and hope that the other girls will step into that, the role that she has played in the last couple of years. Hemflin doesn't have to worry about what college she'll be playing for next year, signing with Bowling Green last month. I'm so excited about Bowling Green. The coaching staff really was really loving to me and brought me in as one of their own. And the girls, I couldn't be more thankful how happy they were that I decided to commit there. And one of their top scorers, Carly Santoro, actually, I played with her sister on travel ball. So it just worked perfectly because she already knows me. So when I go in, she'll be a senior, I'll be a freshman. So I'll just take anything and like let her be my role model. The senior's fall sports choice went back and forth her entire high school career. I started off playing two years of volleyball. It was really fun. I'm glad I did. Great experience. I actually played volleyball because I didn't want to get hurt for basketball, but then I missed soccer so much because I grew up playing soccer. So I just decided, let's just try to switch it back. So junior year, junior and senior year of playing soccer couldn't have went any better. The all-WBL soccer performer giving God credit for all her success. FCA really means a lot to me knowing that um, it's a fellowship of Christian athletes. It doesn't even have to be athletes. Anyone can be in it. So it really means to me that it brings our school almost together more and cohesive because God is a big part of my life. He is my life. So I am just really excited to show God's love to everyone else. You can't go anywhere without God. God is everything, and you just have to have him first and then everything else behind him. If you have God first, everything else will fall into place.